Hello, Bradman's 1981. Just want to do a kind of a some may consider a special unboxing. It's not a Tar Heel Ants unboxing, uh, but it is uh, a new figure that I just ordered. Um, the figure I didn't realize was coming out so soon. I thought I had more time uh, to purchase it, um, but uh, yeah, it's not from um, Ami Ami because it's an Aniplex. Uh, figure for those you don't know Aniplex uh, from my understanding they do a lot of they try to sell their own products through their own website their own distribution so I got this through um, Otaka mode uh, it was shipped uh, EMS I literally just received it 10 minutes ago maybe not even that so anyway let, let's get to it this might be a little bit of a long video so bear with me it's not so much a review of the figure um, I might do something like that later because I would have another Aniplex uh, figure of the same character that I would probably view at the same time. Alright, let's see what we got here. Okay, this is the first time I've gotten something in one of these little see through envelopes. Looks like it's my packing slip, but, but that's kind of neat. This is new because I've ordered stuff from them before, but I never got. Um, any, just covering up information. Uh, anything in one of these old plastic uh, envelopes, I guess you call it. I don't know. Oh, sorry, I just hit the mic boom. Hopefully, you guys can hear me really well because um, I have my uh, dishwasher going and also uh, my mic booms a little further away than my previous ones. And it's probably going to pick up a lot of the paper versus me talking. So. Right. It is wow this is a much bigger box than i thought it was going to be although for the cost it's fitting um, should be it yeah. uh, i'm going to bear with me here everyone this was an ill-conceived and ill-planned video let's see if i can tilt it down a bit here we go i got my property of extra big corn fed shirt on it's my my relaxed shirt I'm lounging at home I was born in Omaha Nebraska you know I was pretty much raised in uh, outside New York City and outside uh, Seattle Washington so as you can tell up oh, sorry about the glare this is a figure of uh, Marin Kitagawa uh, from the show my dress up darling um, it is a 1-7 scale figure. Again, it's from Aniplex. The sculptor uh, shows Akasami. Um, yeah. Uh, I, did, I did get the other figure of her um, wearing her school uniform. This is a very iconic scene from the anime. Um, I don't want to ruin it for those that um, haven't watched it yet, but it's, like I said, a very iconic scene. A very funny scene. Um... Great character, great anime. I think people were surprised by this anime because it, it yeah, it, it's a rom-com, but I don't know. I, I think a lot more people that maybe were not into that type of anime end up liking it where they didn't expect it. Um, I expected I was going to like it, but, you know, I don't think everyone did. But anyway, wow, this is a big box. Let me take a look at this. A lot of little pieces in here. I don't know from what I can tell, she looks like she came out really nice. Um, I think people were talking about in for this figure that that the, her proportions are a bit off. Um, feel free to go to uh, my figure. What is it? Myfigurecollector.net. Hold on, I apologize. Let's see. Okay. Really. MyFigureCollection.net. I recommend that for those of you collecting figures. A lot of people uh, sell their uh, used figures privately on there, but they they showcase their figures. They showcase their their room setups to display them. They talk about them. They do reviews. It's a really cool website, but they really only do official stuff. Um, they don't do. They'll talk about knockoffs and how to avoid them. Uh, what's out there, but I don't think. You, 
because there's a numbering system. I don't think the number of the figures will work for anything that's considered a knockoff or not official. So, anyway. Like I said, this caught me off guard. I didn't realize this was coming out so soon. I thought it was coming out like in a few months or so. The other figure, same thing. It was like, oh boy, that, that's the South? Okay, uh, let me get it. Trying to figure out the best way to do this here. I'll try to keep everything whoop, from the packaging, you know, relatively in good shape. Not so much because if I ever want to sell it, although that's part of it, but also because it's a little OCD. I'm gonna make some room on my desk here to place some of this stuff. So this is the tatami mats that. I believe that's the way what they're called, the Tommy mats. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's the common mats that they use in Japan for the flooring of people's homes. At least it was common. I don't know if it still is, but the idea of the one of the uh, the two main characters, one of them is a male, obviously, um, and he lives in a more traditional household. So. I am starving, by the way. I need to eat something. So you see my hand shake or anything like that? Just being careful to cut, but not to cut any parts. Because my blood sugar is probably a little low. I need food. So wait, waiting for this to be delivered because I was like, I checked it earlier, and I'm like, oh, well, when am I gonna get this figure? Because I ordered it. Uh, this came through. I don't know if I mentioned before, uh, EMS. Uh, I usually prefer DHL, uh, but it's one or the other. Um, yeah, last time I got some EMS, the post office claimed I wasn't home, and they left a note on my door. I was home. I was pretty. I was pretty upset about that actually. Okay, let's get the little pieces out. Little pillow here. Uh huh. Okay, I'll try to keep this all together. Here's her purse, I believe. some more figures from Ami Ami. Um, I haven't fulfilled the order yet because I have a few few more days before I have to pay. For those of you not aware with Ami Ami, they when you order something uh, for the your monthly order or even a regular order, they give you kind of a few days to add stuff or or to request to see how much extra shipping would be if you bought more items and included in the shipment. But so I'm waiting on that. That I have some inner I have I think they're all used, but two of the things are no. At least one of the things is a prize figure. So technically it's marked pre on, but it's not. Man, of course my AC has to come on now and blow all this stuff. All right. Closer look at her. Get that foam out. I really love when they package things like this. The extra care. So, part of the proportion they were talking about, let's just be honest in the forefront, they, they were saying in, in this figure the breasts were a little bigger than actually she has in the anime. I'd have to... Well, spec there. I want to make sure it wasn't part of the figure. Um, I, want, I have to watch the anime again and take a closer look. The toes are really cute. Paint looks really good. The hair came out phenomenal. I have to say, so far the actual figure, I'm looking at the at the skin to see if there's any production lines or casting lines. Her back looks great. The indentures look great. The hand looks good. Yeah, I have to say, I like this figure a lot more than the other Anaplex that I received. I don't think we received like a week or two ago pretty recent uh let's oh man this yeah. 
gently place her down. Gently. This might end up being my favorite, new favorite figure. I'll, I'll zoom up a little. I'll move the figure up a little closer so you guys can see a little better in a moment. Okay, perfect. Awesome. That is great. All right, let me get uh, so I can keep this all together. Bear with me. I know I keep saying that, but I'm going to try to keep everything together. Because they're just gonna fall if I try to put it back there. Let's see, that would have been the front here. Putting it back in the box. Just okay. I just want to see it. I doubt there was gonna be any directions, but I just want to look. Let's put this right back. Come on, Brad. Hurry up and show us the figure. Who cares about that stuff? I care about it, damn it. Right, now I can't remember. That's my OCD for you. Now I can't remember. Okay, it would have went down this way because that's colored. That's not. Perfect. Again, whether I sell this or not, I'll, I'll, down the road, I, I would still be this way with my uh, packaging. Let's put that. Shipping box for now. Oh, so many boxes. Okay, so let's turn her here. Um, hmm. I'm assuming they just I'm looking at the picture. Why'd they get two mats? Oh, okay, so it goes this way. All right. I guess it doesn't matter which one goes where. That seems to match the paint a little better, though. But then you put her here. Well, this figure's going to take up a lot of room. See, the bag is supposed to go. Oh, she's supposed to actually be a little slanted, so she's supposed to be like this. Which is weird. That leaves a lot of a lot of space, but whatever, okay. Um, and this would go. I'm like referring to the picture. This goes like this. The shirt. Like that. Kind of. The pants. That's pretty much how. Oh, the pillow. On oh, the pillow. Oh, it actually has. Uh, that's cool. The pillow actually has a little indenture. Or, yeah, I think that's the right word. Uh, for her leg. Or no, maybe not her leg, but the, the uh, hold on, I'm going to turn this around. But for the, yeah, for the, uh, so when it leans over, it doesn't fall over. Because it'll, the indenture is like, here we go, to fit the, here we go. I can feel the sweet spot. That's about right. Okay. Alrighty. All right. Uh, I'm going to lift. I'm going to move her and then get closer to um, the camera. So bear with me here. Again. 
<laughs> all right. Let me adjust all this jazz. Okay. I'm just going to lift her off here. So you guys get a good look at her. Sorry about the lighting. Yeah, lighting's really bad. There we go. Let's focus here. That's her. The detail is really good. Um, here we go. Her hand's perfect there. This, this is, I mean, she fits perfectly on that. Um, I don't know what they're called. They're, they're, they're bed rolls. Is it just a bed roll? I can't remember. But I'm going to take her off the base so you can give her a closer look. So, so some of the details I really like about this, if you could see, look at the shape of her back. That's such a good job. I mean, that's really, really great work. Um, top of the head still has some of those, like, you know, here we go. Splits. Fishing calm. I'm sorry. But that's normal. Um, I mean, look at her tummy. If you can picture, get that. Or, eh, it's hard to tell on the camera, but course adorable facial expression her feet toes oh, I'm gonna zoom in there it might be hard to uh, on come on zoom in her feet yeah all right get... anyway toes look really good the bikini looks great. I mean, really, this yeah, this might be my uh, my new favorite figure. Put her down. I apologize for the. Uh, <laughs> I guess you could say the low quality of the video. Let me move my mic boom a little bit. Uh, but I wanted to unbox it and show you guys that it is out. Um, it's probably going to sell pretty well, I imagine. Uh, the scene is, like I said, very iconic. It's one of the most probably the most popular scene in the series. But, um, again, this is from uh, the anime My Dress Up Darling. Uh, the character is Marin Kitagawa. This is called her swimsuit version, one seven scale figure. Um, it is by Aniplex, and the sculptor is Akasami. I'm looking at the information, by the way. Um, like I said, you can't get this from Ami Ami as of yet, unless they start getting some that are used. Because, like I said before, um, Aniplex, a lot of times, only sells their stuff through their website. Um, unless it's like a, it's my understanding, that's unless it's like a company that has multiple branches. See, like, Ami Ami doesn't have a branch in the States, but, um, but, but Otako does. So I think that's how they're able to get around some of these things. Uh, kind of like prize figures. Like, prize figures in Japan, one of the only ways you can get them is actually by doing the kujis doing the you know the the cranes or the you know what, what's commonly first the kuji or the little tab uh rip uh, prize lotteries um but here in the states um if you look at the wording uh can only be sold in such and such a country outside japan because it has to do with um you know for those uh, this is not a business course but basically it has to do with uh, property rights property rights are different when it comes to international uh, especially when Japan and anime and all that, but so let's see what else. Uh, you know, we'll do another minute here. Uh, got a lot more figures I want to do some reviews for. Uh, I may do an unboxing video of uh, got two of these, not the same figure, but Godzilla versus Biollante. Now these, it's an American company, I believe. But it's the only figure of Biollante that has her, what I call, com, what I call her first form, the where she's a giant rose, and that's my favorite form of her. Um, for those of you who don't know, Biollante is a, uh, oh, an enemy of Godzilla. I don't know, but it's, uh, another um, kaiju that Godzilla fights um, takes place immediately after in, in what's called in the states Godzilla, Godzilla 1985. So. But anyway, again, it's Brian Miss 1981. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate your patience. Feel free to leave a comment and hope you have all a great holiday and take care.